Hi. I wanted to share something maybe a little more personal today. This past week I've felt quite low energetically. A numbness, a lack of motivation to do anything but stay in bed, stay on my phone. I wanted to experiment and try something. So this video is that experiment. I wanted it to be a space for me to verbally journal, to communicate and release all that I'm feeling, but mainly to share all the beautiful things that have made me feel lighter and see the beauty in life again. I really hope if you are currently or ever go through similar feelings, this reminds you of the temporal nature of all things. Also the sacredness that can be found everywhere, but especially within. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have been feeling a little bit disconnected from my spiritual practice recently and so I wanted to kind of like force myself back into it because I know I always feel my absolute best when I am doing my spiritual practice and when I'm meditating more, whether that's through yoga or journaling and using crystals and just like being more mindful of everything and writing gratitude lists and everything like that. I know it makes me feel so good but I felt really disconnected from it recently just because life has been like such a blur it's been going so fast and I feel like I need to take 10 steps back and just chill and just reconnect really and so I wanted to make this video about ways to reconnect this video is just gonna be me trying out different things that make me feel good and doing that and I hope this video can be really beautiful and really beneficial for both me and you. I have a beautiful trip planned away for my best friend Karis's birthday. We're going to Wales actually today, like my friend's picking me up literally any minute now. We're staying in a cabin in the forest in Wales that's like a few minutes from the sea as well and so I think this will just be the perfect trip to get back into spirituality especially because all my best friends are really spiritual and we're gonna do yoga together. So I think having that group support around me will really help me and like influence me in the right direction, you know? I'm so excited to take you along with me for that little trip and just to get back into my spiritual ways and have you come along with me. So for this first pose, our affirmation is I am worthy of love and joy. I am worthy of love and joy. I forgive myself and set myself free. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. I love and accept myself exactly as I am. We don't know this is temporary. Maybe we'll last a January. I lost control when you call me. Um, 
another beautiful day. We're going to the beach now. I'm really excited. I'm feeling so good. Like, it's just so beautiful to constantly be in nature. I feel like that is almost what I've been missing, just like being in nature. And especially because it's really cold in England, it makes me not want to go outside, but almost like being forced outside makes me realize how much I love it when I am and like how much peace nature brings me. I feel like that is definitely one of the things that I need to do to bring back my spirituality, just like be in nature because that instantly connects me and makes me feel like really good. And as well as well, like going to the beach, that makes me so happy. Like I'm a Pisces, so like anything with water like just makes me so happy. <laughs> so yeah. I'm really excited for today, like I think it's going to be beautiful and then we're going on a boat ride later so lots of water, so happy Oh the beach, c'est la mer, c'est la mer, ma mer, la mer Birds are really loud. <laughs> you just got back from the boat ride and um, from having a look around like the Tambi area. It was really pretty actually, like the houses are really nice colours. Also like I bought a book because whoops, no self-control as we know. It is the Tibetan book of living and dying, which I feel like is beautiful. I can't wait to read it because I'm really interested in like the whole concept of death and like how it's a really beautiful symbol for how amazing life is, you know? Just see how many pages. Oh god. God, it's like over 400 pages long and like the writing is literally the most tiny writing I've ever seen in my life. 
it literally is like a Sylvanian family kind of reading book. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like how tiny the writing was. But it doesn't even do it justice when I'm like showing it like this. It doesn't even look that small. But when I look with my own eyes, I swear it's really tiny. I'm excited to read it. Wait, this fire! I'm so proud of you, baby. Mm. How incredible these are. They're, what are they? Loaded cooking? Yeah. Brownie? Like, for Karis's birthday. This is Karis's birthday eve now. Oh my God. Cheers. <laughs> So it's Karis' birthday, just doing a bit of early morning foraging. We woke up at 7am, going to do like a nice little breakfast spread for her with like some fresh berries I've just picked, how cool! <laughs> Look at this special little birthday spread for a special little birthday Virgo. <laughs> I just wanted to do a little check-in because I've been feeling like the past few days like really low energy. I only had that feeling for a while, so it's not that nice. <laughs> so I lit candles. <laughs> like maybe that would make me feel better. To be honest, I think it's because I came back from Paris and obviously coming from like Paris and then back to like this small little village where I live is quite a big change. I've been spending the entire time I've been back, so like for a full month I've been around people like every single day and then the past few days I've just been by myself. I didn't make any plans because I know I need to get organised and spend time by myself. I didn't realise that I was kind of like depending on others to distract me and like to make me happy and stuff. Feeling slightly lost. So I feel like making this video came at a really perfect time for me because I really need to make this video for myself. I need to push myself to do things in my spiritual practice that I know make me feel really good. So I think I'm gonna do a bit of journaling now and I let my incense and my candles and that makes me feel good because it just smells so good. And I think as well, because I've been like spending time by myself, I've been more drawn to going on my phone a lot more, which really lowers my vibration. So I actually deleted Instagram today because that's like one of the main reasons I go on my phone really. So I've deleted that so I don't feel the need to go on my phone as much. I think I'm just gonna turn it off for most of the day. I am actually seeing my friend later, so that'll be really nice. I can talk with them about this kind of feeling because I know it's not uncommon. I feel like those are the things I'm gonna do today to make me feel good. Do some journaling and speak about my feelings. It's quite difficult finding a balance between like being really gentle with yourself and letting you feel it all, but then also pushing yourself enough to do things that get you out of feeling that way. I feel like I could feel this like low energy mellowness all the time if I wanted to and it's actually just bringing myself out of that, like I have to force myself out of that and force myself to pick it up a bit. I feel like just talking it all out about how I'm gonna make myself feel good is already making me feel a lot better. Thanks for being here and listening, it means a lot to me. Also I'd really recommend creating a beautiful space like this, like a little spiritual altar because every time I come to this space I automatically 
we just feel a lot better because honestly it smells so good also it's got my sunflowers like I always put fresh flowers there and it's got my vision board reminding me of all the things I want to be and all the things I already am it's just reminding myself that I am the person I want to be the only thing that's kind of holding me back is time and that's not real so I can just step into that person now so it's beautiful that I have everything I love like in this little area for me just to come back to and remember perfection and the subtleties I thank myself every single day that I have my daughter the next day i'm automatically feeling better i spent the whole day yesterday with one of my like oldest and dearest friends and um as well last night i facetimed my boyfriend and this morning as well and i'm just feeling a lot better as well because i was speaking to them about it i realize i'm not alone it was just like nice to talk about it and to feel understood and not weird because you know when you're thinking it in yourself you're like I'm weird for feeling like this like it's not okay or like there's just some type of non-acceptance that which is the reason why I'm in that place in the first place because I'm not accepting my like the phases that I'm going through but I just feel more acceptance now and I just feel like more comforted through talking about it and just being around others you know I'm listening to the new Little Sims album. I bought a new book yesterday because I knew that it would get me back into spirituality and I knew that it would get me out of this. And it was really beautiful because yesterday when I was with my friend Molly, we just like sat for about an, an hour maybe reading this to each other. And it was just so beautiful and so wholesome. It's A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. I loved The Power of Now. It's my favorite book ever, so I knew that out of all the books that would literally save my soul, Eckhart could do it. Just, I love, I love his mind. Literally, I love his mind. I think I just need to be prioritising, eating nourishing meals today. Maybe going outside a bit and doing some reading outside. Because I think those things would really nourish my soul. I'm just so grateful that you're here, like, for this video. And that we could heal together and just be together. And spend a bit of time focusing on the things that are important such as taking care of yourself also if you haven't listened to the new little sims album like you have to do it fuck it's too good